And this is the randomizer template, as you can see from the name in the middle. I'm just going to zoom in here and show a few output nodes. So one of them is on randomize finish. This sends a pulse when the randomizer has actually completed. So I'm just going to put an if node here, just to show an example. This if node will actually go blue when it is finished. As you can see, just there it flashed blue. So that just means it sent a pulse out. So it will come out through this true, just showing that it's finished. The index here, we can use peak. And peak actually shows the values that it's going through. So this index here shows you the value it's going to stop on or it's going through. So right now it stopped on zero. I'll just refresh that again so you can see. So it's going through all the selection and it stopped on two, which means number two is related. It's equals to Mars or Mars is number two. And you get all those sequences because if you go to the planet's texture sequence, which is the animation sequence, it has eight frames, as you can see in the duration, which means um, it will only go from zero to seven. So now we know that there are probably about two ways we can actually get the 3D asset visible on the person's head or in the scene. Um, so what I'm going to do is, first of all, we need a, I'm just going to click here. First of all, we need a 3D camera in the scene. So I'm going to go to this little button here, add object, click on scene and click camera. So that bring, that gives us a 3D camera in the scene. Uh, by default, it is set to zero, um, but you can change this to 40 so that we can actually see it better. So once that is done, we add a head tracker into the scene. So we go to AR tracking, head tracker, and with a head tracker, it includes an occluder head in the scene, which just means we can hide things behind it. I will now go to the asset library, click on asset library and import just a small, let's use this Shiba 3D. Right, it's done. So we can see over on the asset side, our Shiba has been added. Now we need to add this 3D assets called Shiba to the scene. So we go to Shiba here, click on it, right click and go instantiate, which just adds it to the scene as you see here. So there is the Shiba, the little 3D dog. To make it track with the head, we just drag it to the head tracker. And now it becomes a child of the head tracker. It's hidden now, but to because it's inside the occluder. It's in, as you can see, it's inside this occluder, which hides things. So we just click on it, and we use the up arrow here. I'm just going to reset it. Zoom in. Actually, I will just hide this visual script in so that we can see this bigger by going to this button here to click on it. It will hide the visual script in and we can now see it or the scene a lot bigger. So Shiba is selected. Make sure it is on move. Click on move. So Shiba is selected. So make sure it's on move and click the yellow arrow just to pull it up and you will see it on the preview button you will see it pop its head out here so I'm just going to make it visible like this 
you can decide where to position this you can decide where to move where to move everything totally up to you so i'm just going to put it here for now and go back i'm going to go back to this canvas here which contains our randomizer and i'm going to click on the title and click on the random sequence so what I'm going to do is move the title down a bit and move the random sequence also down a bit so we can see the dog that's that's the reason why I'm moving them and I'll click on the Sheba again just to move it a bit higher up and maybe increase its scale. So to increase the scale, we can click on this one here, this little icon, and I will just rotate it, click on the white middle box, and just drag it, and this will increase the size. Right, so now that is done, we can go back to the visual scripting Firstly, we can hide this Shiba because we don't really need to see it at the beginning. And we go back to the visual scripting where it says on randomized finish, we can now trigger to show the Shiba at the end. I'm going to delete these. So to show Shiba at the end, we are going to select this and select set visibility once set visibility is there we click on visibility on so that when it finishes it actually switches on or makes this shiba visible click on shiba drag to the visual scripting that shows the scene object connect this to target and we can try it all again. So I'll refresh it. And you'll see that it runs through the cycle. And at the end, you see a little blue dot show up here and the Shiba is visible. So that's one way to show the Shiba, but it will show the Shiba regardless of the out, regardless of what value it lands, it lands on. So to make it land on a specific, so let's say we do that again. So let's say we want it to land on, let's say we want it to be visible when Earth shows. So we go back to this same peak. And Earth was zero. I just I saw it was zero. Neptune is four. So let's say it's zero. Or we want it to show on a particular one. I'm gonna just click on this icon here to say undock, which undocks the visual script in. And I'll double click the top just to increase the size so it's bigger we can see what we're doing here and i'll click on this to reset the graph view to just make it come to the middle and i'll zoom in so to make it show to make the dog show on a particular value what you can do is i'm just going to select this and drag it up here so what we can do is you can use a switch so a switch outputs a pulse depending on the number so we plug this peak in here let's delete this so we plug the peak in here and depending on the number so um, we can go back just double click we can go back to the asset tab planet sequence planet's texture sequence has eight eight frames as you can see here so what we can do is just double click on the 
top bar again. So it has eight, it will have eight outputs potentially. So I will just put three, four, five, six, and one more, eight. Right, so it just show it just means that if the randomizer finishes on let's see if the randomizer finishes on one it will trigger this output if the randomizer finishes on six it will trigger this output so if we set the Sheba to be visible when it hits one it's or when it hits zero that means the Shiba will only show when it is zero. You can add other values to these outputs here. Right, we'll just give that a quick double click the top again just to make it smaller. And you can actually dock it now. So you can just click on this little icon here, dock, and it will go back. And then click on this reset graph view to just bring everything to the middle so I'm just going to pretend this is zero just to test it out I'm just going to unlink unlink this make it let's make it five which just means that if this is five this value will be triggered this output will be triggered so I'll connect this here delete this this is just an example because it's a randomizer, we could be here forever. So I'm just going to make it five and just to show you that it actually outputs on five here. So we will we'll reset, restart. And whichever one it lands on, boom, you see it triggered this five. And we can try again, just to show that it actually works on five. We can try two and restart. And you see it doesn't show the, it doesn't show the dog because it's not the right output. So this is one, this, these are two ways of doing it. Right, I'll connect this back and we we'll restart it. So it will only trigger when it lands on two. So it doesn't see it landed on it landed on it landed on six, so it will not it will not trigger. So hope this helps. Thank you for watching.